In this video, I'll be walking through the question you see on the screen here from the maths paper 1-1 from the 2024 Cambridge A-Level exam. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different uh, paper entirely, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to in your classroom. But remember, we're not in the classroom, we're on YouTube. Take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch it at double speed. If you find this video or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, a share, or even a super thanks. Question nine is, it's a fairly difficult question and I'm going to embarrass myself a bit by trying to draw a lot of three-dimensional shapes to explain what's going on. Um, and I'll be doing a lot of explaining because well, I assume you're here because you had trouble with this question. Um, but I won't do much maths until the end because the maths isn't actually that hard. Um, explaining where it all comes from will take me a bit of time. So bear with me here. So they want, they've shaded in this region here. And they tell us that uh, they want the volume of the solid generated if we rotate that around. So the idea is this is sitting in space and we rotate it around and everywhere this, this shaded area touch turns into a solid object. So I'm gonna try and draw that. I'm gonna try and draw lots of these. Um, it will look something like this, if you bear with me. There'll be a cylinder, but it'll be hollow, it will, it will come in like this, it'll cut in like this. So th I guess there'll be nothing in the middle. Oh no, there well, that's why it's hard to draw three dimensionally. So you can think of this as a cup. If I turn this on the side, except there's a hole at the bottom. Um, so hopefully you're, you're seeing that. It's a cylinder with the middle cut out in this sort of reducing shape. And you can see this shape here on top is the same as this. this rotates around. If you think of this as a blade might be better. Um, if you think of, yeah, this is a blade and it's cutting out of a cylinder that was there. Um, might be the better way to look at it. Or it's cutting the world. Like maybe the whole world is solid and this blade just cuts through it. Except it only does it between this area and this area. This is a one here. So that's why the whole world isn't filled in. So to do this question, there is a, there's actually a formula for it. I'm not gonna do it out the way I'm about to show you. Um, I wanna draw a few more pictures and embarrass myself a little more um, and show you the more common way to do it. But there is a formula for, for doing it when the shaded region doesn't touch the line. And that formula looks, uh, looks like this. It's the integral, it's pi, pi, you'll see pi all the time. Because we're talking about getting a circle. Pi or squared is very important to the idea. I won't go into the idea too much. Uh, consult your book, ask your teacher, and the video will go too long if I do that. But uh, the idea when we have this cut out area, and um, how we get that is uh, we need the equation of the upper bound. In this case, the equation is just y equals one. So you'll see uh, just one squared minus the equation of the bottom line. And again, you, you're allowed to use this form. This isn't overly complicated or anything. I just think some students miss this, so I want to do it the other way. But if you want to continue on this way, that's fine. And the bottom line here is just the y, the y squared. And uh, you integrate all of that with dx uh, between the points uh, 1 and 2.4. And this will give you the answer you're looking for. This is, this is, this is finished. Any, any shaded region they give you, even if it's away from the, the axis, use this formula, you're done. Now, if you're still not sure, if you don't think you know this formula, you don't think you can bring it into the exam in your head or whatever, fine. Let's do it a slightly different way. Let's, uh, instead of do making this shape, because that's what this does, it makes this shape in one go. Let's do it this way. Let's make this shape, um, let's see, a cylinder, and then take away, um, take away, yeah, this shape. Let me just try and draw this. take away this shape, and we'd be left with the one we're, we're looking for. Now we can do that, just like you see here actually, integrate over one, because that's uh, what this line is here, one, um, and we get this area, take away, and um, integrate over the y squared, and we get this area. Sort of what I'm doing, except it's just a lot of students are a bit happier with this, 
because they can see this shape. This length here is just this length. That's uh, 1.4. This radius is just this number here, which is just one. This way, and it's rotated all the way around. So students are just happier to find this the old-fashioned way. Pi r squared, r is one, and uh, multiplied by the height, and you'll get you'll get the same answer as in here. Um, so yeah, these these two ways are the same. So how I expect a lot of students to do is find this volume separately on its own. So let's concentrate on this volume. And what this volume is, is underneath the curve, rotated. Which is also a question you might see. And that one you are expected to remember a bit more, that the volume is equal to pi by the integral of y squared dx. Or if you go the other way around the x-axis, it's uh, pi x squared dy. Um, so in this case, the y, let's get down to the, to the work now. Let's get down to integrating this. Again, it'd be the same work as you would have done here. So uh, first thing I'll do is, let's rewrite this guy. Let me change markers here. Uh, if we rewrite this guy to be 5x minus 4 to the power of minus 1 over 3. I, I just, I'd much rather things being on the top row when we're dealing with it. So this becomes uh, pi by the integral of y squared. This is 5x minus 4 to the power of minus 2 over 3. So it's the squared affected it like that, dx. So really it comes down to can we integrate this. Um, it's not too difficult of an integral. A lot of students do do it in their head. I'll, I'll just rub a bit of this out to, um, uh, to use a substitution method. Just do a slight bit slower. So you can integrate this in your head if you're, if you're quite good at that. But uh, let's use substitution to do it a bit slower. Uh, let's take u is equal 5x minus 4 out of it. Uh, to, to, to integrate this in your head, you just treat this like a simple object. Um, integrate that and then fix your cheat by dividing by the derivative of this. Dividing by this 5, basically it's going to turn out. Which we'll see the same in the substitution. Uh, u is equal to this, um, du dx is equal to 5, and that means if we want to replace dx, dx would be equal to 1 over 5 du. And that's the cheat that I would, if you did it in your head, that's where that divide by 5 appears. So uh, instead of this question, we would get pi, the integral of u, to the power of minus 2 over 3, and instead of dx, we'd have du with a 1 over 5 appearing as a different numbers though so I won't bother writing them in we'll just fix it back in a minute and um, this is equal to pi over 5 uh, to integrate we just add 1 to this number and that becomes u to a third and then we divide by this new number dividing by 1 over 3 is like multiplying by 3 um, and yeah we know what u is though so we rewrite this as pi over 5 instead of uh, u it's 5x minus 4 to the power of a third and we we also know what number should have gone in uh, 2 point, 2 point, 1 to 2.4 so we just need to fill these numbers in I'll do that over there but yeah just go over one more time how you do this in your head quickly because you might see teachers or other students do it and be a little confused I look at this I pretend this is just an x and I get um, add 1 to this number I get uh, 1 over 3 Multiple, uh, divide it by this new number, divide by 1 over 3, I get this 3 appearing. Um, I, I leave this as just an x, so I leave it just like this, but then I fix my mistake by dividing by the 5. That's how I would do it all in my head. Um, to, to write this out, just fill these numbers in, we get uh, three, uh, 3 pi over 5 multiplied by 5 times 2.4 uh, minus 4 is, uh, is 8. 8 to the power of a third, and um, then minus 3 pi over 5. Uh, 5 times 1 is 5, minus 4 is 1, so we get 1 to the power of a third. Thankfully, these are both two nice numbers to do. 2 to the power of a third is 2, 1 to the power of a third is 1. So uh, we get 2, let's see, we get uh, 6 pi over 5 minus 3 pi over 5 is equal to 3 pi over 5. Um, that's just underneath this curve. Remember we cheated, we did half the work. I, sh I guess I shouldn't have rubbed out the, 
the the shapes there but this was um this was this shape the center bit uh, earlier i guess i rubbed it out as well it was a pi uh pi r squared where pi is one and um, this shape so yeah let me say that again this number is this shape uh, the cylinder uh, the cylinder itself with the one radius and the 1.4 here that was a uh, 1.4 pi we just take this minus this to get our final answer and uh, let's put this in a fraction i suppose that is 7 over 5 pi so our final answer is 7 over 5 pi apologies for this being a bit of a mess and uh, minus 3 um over 5 pi so final answer is 4 over oops 4 over 5 pi just double check that that is what i got in my notes yeah 4 over 5 pi um i i planned this question to be a bit longer than it was i was going to talk more about the integration cutting it into segments uh last minute i decided just to forget that basically all these segments would end up into making loads of discs so you can think of, instead of thinking of this as one big shape you can think of this as loads of uh, discs added together and that in this our case you would end up with a ring plus a, uh, a slightly smaller slightly smaller ring and then a smaller ring again and they all add together to the shape but as you can see my drawing isn't up for that explanation so i decided to scrap that idea if you have any follow-up questions um let me know in the comments i'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching have a great day